The guarantee that I'm asking for is a guarantee that the executive council do their job. Pamela Smart has been in prison since 1991 for her role in the murder of her husband, Greg. She is serving a sentence of life in prison without parole. Last year, she applied to have a commutation hearing over reducing her sentence, a request which was denied. Her attorney is arguing that the governor and council didn't fairly consider that application, rejecting it in less than three minutes. Discretion means that they're circumspect, that they exercise good judgment in the context of what they're supposed to decide. If they hit all of those, then I would be foreclosed. But there's no evidence that they hit all of those. The state began its case by saying the case shouldn't be heard at all, which drew a swift response from one justice. This court lacks jurisdiction to review the actions of governor and council in this case. How can, how can you say that? I mean, we're here talking about the actions. You're saying we don't have jurisdiction for you to stand here and it, it, argue? Exactly. I like to leave? <laughs> While the defense has argued that this is about due process, the state says that doesn't apply here. There is no remedy um, because, again, she, she doesn't have a right. She doesn't have a legal right to a hearing. After the hearing, Smart's defense lawyer said they are looking for the court to establish certain procedures. And make a record that indicates you did your job instead of brushing it off like a mosquito off your shoulder. And that's exactly what we got. The chief justice is recused in this case. Typically, the court will issue its rulings in two to six months. When asked how his client is doing, Pam Smart's attorney said as well as can be expected. And what they are asking for is the court to give her hope again. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.